Hey guys, my name is Simsy and welcome to Season 7 of my FIFA 15 Real Madrid Career Mode. This is Episode 2, guys. In today's episode, we have two matches, the first of which is against Barcelona in the second leg of the Super Copa España. Unfortunately, we managed to lose 1-0 in the first leg at home at the uh, Santiago Bernabeu, which is... Disappointing, but uh, hey, what are you going to do? So the only piece of transfer negotiation was Jerome Botang going on a short-term loan to Bayern Leverkusen. Now, guys, as you see on the screen here, I managed to put Carlson, is Latan Ibrahimovic's regen. Um, I wanted to put him into the starting eleven. He had an all right match. He just couldn't seem to stick anything in the back of the net. And settings, we lost 1-0 through Ronaldo's goal. I think I wanted to um, spice it up a bit, and I think my tactic works perfectly here. Just before the fourth minute, Ibrahimovic, Carlson... Manages to stick it into the back of the net. As I said, guys, we do have um, one more match, uh, and that is against Atletico in the league. So it's a match-packed episode. Now, guys, really nice goal there to break away from the Barcelona defense. Absolutely buries it. Five-star weak foot, the number seven man, the Swedish-born Zlatan Ibrahimovic regen. Now, I did ask this, who do you think is Zlatan's regen? And um, I still want to know the discussion on it. I, I personally believe that Carlsen is Zlatan's regen, but however it very well could be, um, that other guy plays for PSG, I can't remember his name, but he's another Swedish-born. He's high-rated, but um, I feel like Carlsen is a lot quicker and... Um, well, he's, if not, he's gonna. He's come from the league. He's come through the Levante Youth Academy, and he's gonna be a fantastic player. Nonetheless, he's got some awesome stats, and he's just so young, which is awesome. So we're currently one 0 up here against Barcelona. Matt Hummels makes it two just before the 33rd minute, and Hummels has scored some cracking goals. Um, quite lately, but he rises to the occasion to make it two 0 to put it up to two one on. Aggregate. Carlson made it 1-1 on aggregate, but a really nice, well-placed header there from Matt Hummel. So, guys, make sure to leave a like if you still are enjoying Season 7 or you still are enjoying the Real Madrid career mode. I really much appreciate it. I do put a lot of effort into these videos, and a simple like really does go a long way. Subscribe if you haven't. Now, guys, I want to know as well in the comment section down below, after Paul Pogba scores an absolute classy goal just before the 45th minute he makes it 3-1 on aggregate as I was saying I want to know in the comment section down below who do you think is going to win the La Liga who do you think is going to win the Champions League who do you think is going to pick up player of the season and um, top goal scorer and manager if you get it right like last season pat yourself on the back <laughs> but um, I don't know I guess I could well, I could make a competition out of it but I'm um, Carlson being a little bit ambitious there firing one at Bravo but um yeah, if you don't want to see Season 7, what would you like to see? I want to know your thoughts and opinions on that. I want to create a s discussion in the comments section. But Ronaldo managed to find Martinez here. Uh, fortunately, it was... Uh, for well, unfortunately for me, it was put into the back of the net, which makes it 3-2 on aggregate here. But Ronaldo on the ball trying to create something again, but Manuel Neuer strong, trying to hold it off. But he puts through in an amazing ball. He absolutely thumps it to Javier, and we've got a crazy counter-attack going on here. He's trying to find Carlsen, and uh, Paul Pogba manages to stick it into the back of the net. So it was the Carlsen and Paul Pogba show. Um, which I didn't really, I didn't really put Paul Pogba into the side uh, in the last episode, and I gave Carlson the first team position. I don't know, Romelu Lukaku just wasn't playing well in that match, but a nice unselfish layoff to Paul Pogba, and he scores an absolute belter. But Martinez on the ball is trying to stick one past Manuel Neuer, so we're coming to the dying hours, and I unfortunately give it to Martinez, which. It's bad because we're currently three, a uh, four-three on aggregate. We still have the advantage. We're currently winning four-two at the Camp Nou, but um, Martinez there makes it um, uh, four-three on aggregate in the ninety. However, we still manage to win on aggregate by one goal, and Carlson wins his first Super Copa España for. Real Madrid, and he's a really exciting prospect, and uh, I can't wait to see him in the future. Obviously, we did sign Robert Lewandowski and Diego Costa in the last episode on a pre-contract, if you watched it. And we also signed uh, Maquinos, the former Roma PSG man. But it's good to see Carlson there celebrating with the lads. And, um, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this career mode as well. However, guys, it is not the end of the episode. We still have a match against Atletico Madrid in the first match of the season. It is going to be a cracker. I really can't wait for it. 
But um, obviously, um, hopefully we can go with the right side. So at the current squad at the moment, I'm trying to think for some more changes to try and um, fix it up a bit. Now, Luis Suarez is 33 years of age. He's 91 overall, and I feel like after that performance, Paul Pogba scoring two goals, we can't not have him on the first team. He's an 89 overall. He's just absolutely superb. He's still really quite young. So I'm going to try and tweak the side here, and then um, obviously I think this is the, the side we're going to be going with. 27 years of age. He's still got a lot of football left in him, and I think he's going to be that pers- uh, that perfect center defensive, that center mid sort of role. I don't. I think it's kind of a waste playing Paul Pogba in the centre defensive mid role. He can play there because he has good some good defensive stats, but he's just so phenomenal on the ball, and he can put him into the back of the net pushing up. He's got some uh, fantastic shots. Um, but obviously, Luis Suarez is a striker. He really shouldn't be playing on the wing, so now we've pushed Eden Hazard on that uh, left-hand side, which he can play. He can play a central role, uh, role as well. But Romelu Lukaku managed to find Messi here, who manages to miss this one, unfortunately. Matt Hummels managed to find Lukaku. Lukaku determined to make a name for himself after Carlson scored some crackers. But Messi manages to find Javier Hernandez. A 1-2 pass across the face of goal. Manages to score the first goal of Season 7 of the Real Madrid career mode in the La Liga. Javier Hernandez puts it into the back of the net. So let me know, guys. Do you think Javier Hernandez is going to be the top goal scorer? Messi, Lukaku, or will be Carlson? Maybe he'll be playing better than Lukaku and we'll have to drop him. Who knows? Churchy manages to fire one at Manuel Neuer. Falls short to the Turkish lad, Turan. But unfortunately for Atletico, he couldn't put it in the back of the net. But Lukaku managed to find Hernandez and sticks this one. Chicharito, my God. 91 overall. The Mexican-born player, he is just so phenomenal, and I'm so happy that he shot up in stats and was kind of a glitched sort of player uh, in this career mode, because I love Javier Hernandez. Um, such a quality, quality player. Sticks it in the back of the net to make it 2-0 against Atletico. But Atletico Madrid weren't down and out for the count. Churchy trying to get something here, but Matt Hummels trying to get it clear. Dumbia manages to snap one in the back of the net. I don't know how he managed to jostle past on the stroke of halftime, that's going to give Atletico that morale boost to go into the tunnel and uh, hopefully create something. But Dumbia on the ball. Again, Atletico, Dumbia was just going ham. Fires one at Real Garcia. But fortunately for me, they didn't stick into the back of the net. They went for a pretty ambitious long shot to find Manuel Neuer. But Nan- Manuel Neuer fires a belter at Carlson. He's got some crazy kicking. And this happened in the last, I think, did this happen earlier in this episode? In the last episode? I can't remember. But Carlson on the ball gets his shot off. Luis Suarez, fresh off the bench, playing in that striker position where he usually was meant to play. He manages to make it 3-1 to make that last goal that Atletico scored no more than a consolation goal. But Carlson was absolutely robbed not to score that. He made the run. He made the shot. Manuel Neuer obviously <laughs> made the kick and the play. But um, Luis Suarez there picked up the crumbs. And uh, put it into the back of the net. So, guys, if you still are enjoying this Real Madrid career mode, make sure to leave a like. I'd really much appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.